Hey kids, today on Louisiana Beer Reviews, we are looking at something that just came to our area. It's by our friends at Dogfish Head, and it's called 61. So, I don't know much about this. I can only go by what's on the label, and the label says that it's kind of infused with some kind of grapes. Yeah, grape must. See raw grape must, which is, I guess, what they get ready when they're going to make brandy. Uh huh. But of course, it's not made with brandy, but, uh, so, you know, the only other beer, infused beer that I ever tasted that it, it went along the lines of some kind of whiny, grapey type thing was something that was put out in the 80, 90s locally by Abita. And it was called, uh, gosh, what was it called? I don't know. Purple I... Haze. Oh, that's Raspberry. Purple ha Oh, Raspberry. Okay, so. They still make it. Isn't raspberry some form of a grape of, of, of a of a it's a fruit a fruit it's a well, berry like, yeah like a berry a grape like, is a berry okay um yeah and then for a while Blue Moon made their uh, wine series where they would use wine grapes mixed with the Blue Moon which was really good yeah and they were they made another one it was made from some maison or something I don't know oh yeah 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 the white grapes okay uh -huh. so we're gonna go we're gonna go ahead and try this. See what it looks like. Ooh. Oh, it looks like great wine. It looks like white, no blush. It does. That's just wow. It's red. Hey, that's not beer. That's Carlo Rossi blush. And it's a very light pink head, and that's a thick head of foam. And it's a now they're calling this an IPA. <laughs> uh, so I'm here to tell you, I've never seen an IPA that looks this color. It's red. When you when you see it in the glass and the sun shines through it, and the last the last brew that we ran across and we did a review on that was this color was about two years ago we on something called Fruitwood. Ah, right. By our, our friends up in Founders. In yeah, Fruitwood, Michigan. We were kind of torn about that one. Yeah, it wasn't really beer, and I'm wondering if this is falling along those same lines, just judging by the appearance. You uh, didn't, you know, they had a another one. Head. There's a couple of other ones like this from found, uh, the Dogfish Head that are grape and fruit infused. Right, but they're calling this an IPA. Mm. Yeah, it says it's a marriage of fruity complexity and pungent happiness. What do they do? They uh, this have is it our going. Continually it's, 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 hopped IPA brewed. But Sahara Great Moss. So right. And it's one minute longer than the sixty minute? I have no 61? idea. Or is it, is I don't it, know why they call it sixty one. Because they sent it down here along Highway sixty one? I don't know. Perhaps. Right. Seriously, that, that's, that's it's reason. interesting. It it looks like some kind of a Shirley Temple <laughs> infused in beer, so eh. Go ahead and try it. It doesn't have a whole lot now of And this came in a variety holiday pack, which included the 60, the 90, this one's the 61, and another one that I sipped on last night, which was pretty good. It was like a fruity, slightly hazy IPA. So we'll have to try that one next time. I still have two bottles left. Well, uh, Mathern's has the 120 IPA that came in yesterday. Well, you can keep that for one. For only ten ninety nine, for one single bottle. Yeah. Yeah, well, Helios is sells those for eight ninety nine. What? What a deal! Only eight ninety nine for one little bottle. Right. But I can't say too much because I bought the Black Albert for ten ninety nine. All right. Well, it's two different styles. Right. That's the ultra. So you smell it. You kind of get in that grape, almost like that yeah. con Concord. You know, I'm yeah, not yeah, like Welch's grape jelly. Yeah, that's what went through my head when you go get breakfast somewhere and you say, "Hey, can I get some jelly from my toast?" And they bring you. Always grapes, so you're like, okay. You put grape on it, and it's like, you know, the toast that's left over after you dip your bread in the, in the egg yolk, and you always got a piece left, so you're like, oh, I'll make a dessert out of this with some, with some jelly. So you always get the uh, the Concord grape. Yeah, it smells kind of like that. Which is sweet and tasty. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, taste this taste, yeah. It's weird. It's got a weird bitterness. There is a bitterness going on. I'm going to look up on the internet, obviously, at their website, see what the IBUs are, but I'm thinking it's probably like about 60. You know what it almost tastes but like? But it's a weird bitterness. It tastes like grappa. 
Have you ever had grappa? Oh yeah, it's like that un, un, unrefined brandy made from like inferior what, grapes. Well, it's not really made from grapes. It's made from like the branches that are left. Yeah, over the leftover, the, the refuse of the uh, brandy grapes. Yeah. yeah, it tastes tastes like grappa, which is kind of bitter and woody. Yeah, the bitterness here. Going. Well, the, let's let's keep that in mind, and we'll go ahead yeah. and taste it with, with the mindset of grappa. Yeah, and, and the it, bitterness here is not coming from hops. It mm, tastes like you know it's coming from wood. Yeah, and you know how grape skin sometimes tastes bitter, like a grape skin be kind of bitter. This is really strange, but I can't say it's bad. The mouth feels kind of light, mm -hmm. no, medium. I'm not really getting. Medium dry finish. I'm not getting any sweetness on the, on the tongue. I'm not getting anything but some straight up like grappa mixed in beer. So yeah, it said grape must. It didn't say grapes. Hey, snuck one in on us, huh? Dogfish head in that variety pack. Thank you. All right. Well, this is interesting. I've never had grappa, but I've heard about it. I read about it. Um, oh well. I don't know what the score of this. I'm gonna take one more sip, and then I'm gonna give it a fair score. Oh. I'm trying to figure out where's the beer flavor. Yeah, there's a little barley underneath. Yeah. Underneath. The undertaste is barley, the upper well, taste. What I, what I think is that they, they added the wrong, they added too many bitters together, and instead of them melting together, they're kind of fighting against one another. Like, I'm going to be bitter. No, I'm going to be bitter. I'm going to be bitter. No, I'm the bitterest. The grape skins are winning this yeah. battle in the wood. Um, and, the, and the grappa. Yeah. Well, I can't see sitting down drinking too many of these. No. I guess it's okay in my opinion. I guess it's like good. It's a B. I'm sorry. <laughs> I really don't know what they were looking for in this. I can only judge by my taste buds. My taste buds are telling me it's not so great. Because um, I'm getting this re really weird clash of bitterness going on. And it's almost like it's clashing with the barley, too. Uh, Dogfish Head usually makes really good brews. I mean, uh, if, you yeah. judge it, if you judge it by the quality of how, of how they put together a beer, I'd say the quality put together is pretty, pretty darn good. I'd give that a B taste-wise. I'm going to give it a C. Whoa. Because it's just... It's, it's just, obviously well made. Okay, so... Right. And they're, they're well, willing to take I'm a risk only and going try something by description different. on the bottle. And that tells me this down here. Uh, IPAs with grape must. What is, what is grape must? It's kind of like the mashed leftover stuff, right? Ooh. Well... Okay. Isn't that what they make grappa out of? Mmm... -hmm. I thought they made it after everything was left over after they well, that's why that's what I'm talking about the refuse but there's there's uh, there's some benefit from that stuff well um, it's interesting to try different things um, if I was gonna do what you're talking about like Concord grape type things I would probably drink like Taylor I was expecting this to have a little sweetness on some it. Taylor wine a little dessert sweet wine. on it not yeah. not just all pungent and eat no sweetness no it's bitter. This is a bitter experience, and, it's, and we're bitter people. And it's it's not bitter on a note of saying I'm a, uh, you know, I'm an IPA bitter, or something like that. It's it's bitter along the notes of bitey bitter. Yeah, it's not pleasant. So that's why I said I got to give it a C because I don't think it really came through for what they were looking for. I don't know what they were looking for. Yeah, it's a mystery to me. But yeah, I'll give it a B. I'm All glad right. I tried it though. So. When we'll try it again, probably never, but it was interesting, so I'm going to save a little bit for the photo. All right, it happens, but you never know until you try it, so we're going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana, B and C.